What's going on guys, Geosnow right here. In today's quick video I wanted to bring to your attention something that claims to be an iOS 10.3 beta jailbreak that involves using the Yalu and then I'm going to discuss about some warnings about some fake websites providing fake iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak that actually looks uh, very appealing for the non-experienced user so that you, you know not to fall for that. Let's go straight into the information and I'm going to start with these. A couple of uh, hours ago somebody asked me on Twitter, give me uh, gave me this link and asked me on Twitter whether this is fake or not. So I decided to look into it and it says, quote, incomplete iOS 10.3 betas jailbreak for 64-bit devices by Luca Tedesco, Marco Grassi and Dev Apple for personal use. It was posted by this guy, Dev Apple, we're going to discuss, and um, it's apparently a fork of Yalu 102 and he's, he is claiming that he managed to get iOS 10.3 beta jailbroken and it says uh, quote I'm using Lucas Yalu code for my own use and will not release iOS 10.2.x jailbreak for my own but then if you scroll down a bit at installing this will be coming very soon beta 1 coming soon for download so uh, at the first time at the first glance it says in here that he's not going to release it but then if you scroll down a little bit he says that the beta one is going to come soon for download this is pretty interesting guys and it says in here the most interesting part that I saw at supported devices and iOS versions it says iPhone 7 for the moment and it says version iOS 10.3 beta 3 other thing this includes KPP or kernel patch protection bypass. Now, if you remember Yalu 102 or Yalu jailbreak for iOS 10.2 doesn't support iPhone 7 and that's because KPP can't be bypassed. Um, look at the disk code didn't manage to bypass the KPP but this guy managed to do it for some reason. Anyways, apparently he says that look at the disk code is involved in this which I dubbed it is because I uh, went ahead and checked on look at the disco's website and also also on his Twitter and there is nothing mentioned about this yellow 103 now this might be real I'm not going to go as far as calling this fake for the moment because it's still in beta it still says in here that warning this jailbreak is a work in progress and it's fair enough so you don't go ahead and call fake everything you see in development and uh, I'm going to wait a couple of more days in order to give time to this uh, to this guy to actually, I don't know, post anything because it was posted seven days ago, a week, uh, a week ago but for some reason it was only uh, brought to my attention now and yeah, it's actually saying that in the future the planet support is iPhone 6, SE and 5S so no, uh, no 6S support for some reason on iOS 10.3 Beta 3 Anyways, uh, the text on this page is actually the text, the standard text for Yalu. He just replaced the iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1 with 10.3 Beta 3. Anyways, this is interesting to see uh, and that's because he claims a download link for Beta 1 is coming soon. I'm looking forward to this and if, uh, if this is actually real, this is going to be pretty interesting. Going ahead on the developers page, as I usually do in order to confirm this is an actual developer, I saw he has mm, some writings in Chinese com combined with Japanese or something in here, couldn't really um, uh, understand. But also he has a couple more projects, but what is actually very intriguing is the fact that all of them are posted at the same time. Going here to repositories, it says that um, all of them were posted on uh, January 20, January 20, January 20, you can see in here. And all of them are empty. If you go in here, it should be some C-sharp code, but everything is empty. Going ahead in here as well. So this is actually very hard to tell if this is a real uh, jailbreaker or if this is even a real developer because any project he has in here except Yalu 103 which is actually a fork from Look at the Discos code is actually empty. I'm going to keep uh, this guy in mind and give me a few days if he releases something. Now if he does release any beta 1 IPA do not go ahead and try that for the moment. Give me a few days to test it, give me a few days to inspect the IPA because it can be very 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 dangerous. Somebody can can uh, can profit on look at Desco's name and Yalu's name pretty easy in order to create a rootkit that will affect your device. So make sure you don't do anything that will uh, compromise your security. Now speaking about Warnings, I wanted to tell you if you go ahead on iOS 9, Cydia.com or Pangu9.com, Pangu8.com and stuff related like this, 
uh, probably they're owned by the same guy, I don't know, I'm going to check later, you're going to see that they claim to have iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak and the method is actually Safari method, it, it involves adding um, Cydia to your home screen in here and it's actually very very fake. You should go ahead and click that shiny go back button and I don't know, go watch fail army do anything else. This is extremely fake and if you open that fail uh, failed Cydia installation it will uh, show a Cydia user interface but then it will ask you to pay. So definitely do not follow this guy's uh, videos on ios9cydia.com. It's just a method for him to make some uh, money. It asks for money for Cydia, which Cydia is definitely free. And the second method he has is Yalu jailbreak. And he went ahead even to show you Cydia running on iPhone 7, iOS 10.2.1. Definitely fake because iOS 10.2.1 cannot be jailbroken right now. Yalu jailbreak uh, supports at most iOS 10.2 and definitely not on iPhone 7. So keep that in mind if you come across this website, even though it says download Yalu jailbreak, I did test this link and it's simply a loop. It continues to go ahead on this website and you go back and forth, you never get to a, an actual download. But even if you go up in here in this uh, website, try not to take anything. This website doesn't even use a secure certificate. So everything you download and everything you send to this website is sent in plain text, which is very dangerous. They also claim to have the same method for iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak, which is again bad. The only method for iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak that I come, that I know is going to come is actually Fried Apple Steam jailbreak at um, this month at Black Hat. So anything else should be fake. Keep this in mind, I'm going to keep you updated on that iOS 10.3 jailbreak project if anything happens. Just wanted to let you know in case um, you come across it, because I saw it um, It is very up in Google, so if you search iOS 10.3 jailbreak with Yalu, it shows up. So I just wanted to clear this thing up. Till the next time, do not forget, stay safe, do not fall for any scams like uh, iOS9cedia.com and peace out.